We believe in going our own way, no matter which way the rest of the world is going. We believe in bucking the system that's built to smash individuals like bugs on a windshield. Some of us believe in the man upstairs. All of us believe in sticking it to the man down here. We believe in the sky and we don't believe in the sunroof. We believe in freedom. We believe in dust, tumbleweeds, buffalo, mountain ranges, and riding off into the sunset. We believe in saddlebags and we believe that cowboys had it right. We believe in refusing to knuckle under to anyone. We believe in wearing black because it doesn't show any dirt or weakness. We believe the world is going soft, then we're not going along with it. We believe in motorcycle rallies that last a week. We believe in roadside attractions, gas station hot dogs, and finding out what's over the next hill. We believe in rumbling engines, pistons the size of garbage cans, fuel tanks designed in 1936, freight train-sized headlights, chrome and custom paint. We believe in flames and skulls. We believe life is what you make it, and we make it one hell of a ride. We believe the machine you sit on can tell the world exactly where you stand. We don't care what everyone else believes. Amen. So this is a vlog I never thought that I would do. I'm gonna quit Million Dollar Bogan. I'm gonna finish up motor vlogging. I don't know if it's permanent, but it will be for, for, for a few months at least. Three months, six months, a year. I'm upset. I'm upset because I think I've been a great brand ambassador of Harley Davidson. When you're a creative content person like I am, when you create content and you have an idea and you write it down and you go and film, then you take that footage away and then you edit it and then you put it together, it takes hours and then you upload it to YouTube and, and then you get feedback. And you know, my channel runs at a 97% thumbs up rate to thumbs down rate. So it's, and I'm not saying this to blow wind at my own ass, I'm just saying that it's, it's a popular vlog. It's growing, you know. Um, you know, some recent vlogs have sort of had 50,000 views in 48 hours, 100,000. When I, when I unboxed the CVO, you know, 350,000 views in nine weeks. So definitely getting some traction, and that stuff doesn't happen overnight, it happens over a period of years. But the reason I'm quitting my motor vlog is because I can't be dictated to what I can and can't do. I'm a creative content guy. Colin and Geelong Harley Davidson dealership. I've been dealing with those guys for 17 years. I've bought, I think maybe 10, 15 bikes, maybe 15 bikes from them. They're personal friends of mine. I love the dealership. I've watched them work on bikes. It's one of the best dealerships in the world. I've been to a number of dealerships around the world. It's a dealership where, in my opinion, you don't get ripped off. The guys, keep, the guys give you fair advice. They're not perfect, but they're perfect in my eyes and, and it works well for me. I've been blessed enough where I've been able to take a camera into their dealership and film. And of course, sometimes that leaves myself and the vlog open to scrutiny. You know, so some of our recent vlogs, um, the political correctness, you know, we might have veered away from talking about Harley Davidson's, but we're just having banter because it's a fun vlog. It's actually a comedy vlog. <laughs> What we try and do is make people laugh. We know that a lot of the guys that ride motorbikes, me included, ride because of mental health issues. Um, you know, wind in the, the hair, wind on your face, smelling all the senses. When you're riding a motorbike, you're concentrating on the road, you're looking at the road surface, your, peri your peripheral vision's at 100%. You're really in the zone. Riding a motorbike, for me, Harley Davidson, it really is escape and um, it does help with my depression as many men, as it does, you know, it helps many men. That's not the only reason I ride. Um, I ride because I love the Harley Davidson culture. I remember when Harley Davidson used to be about this, fuck the world, you know, it used to be, it used to be about live to ride and ride to live, you know. What happened to that? Where's that gone? It seems that, that, that Harley Davidson is heading in a direction 
where it's trying to be all things to all people and what's going to happen it's going to be all things to really no one it's just going to be flaky and it's going to be weak and i hope the ceo of harley davidson sees this because i'm just a consumer i'm a consumer of the product and i love the product i ride it more than most um, i do somewhere between 50 to 80 thousand kilometers a year on motorbikes all around the world and i ride them on all terrains and i love them i think the the for me the build quality is excellent and they're as tough as anything. I'm upset because, because you can no longer have a laugh. I'm a semi-retired businessman and it upsets me that political correctness has just become ridiculous. It truly has. You know, it's put me off Harley Davidson um, to be contacted um, from the US because of a motor vlog I'm putting out. Some dealers might not be happy with it, also consumers might not be happy with it, which is the mono which is the minority the minority people are forgetting about the majority you know it just seems that you can't do anything today without offending someone and it's so frustrating and what it does is it dilutes it dilutes the brand you know it doesn't stand for anything you know i'm real i'm really angry i'm really angry and frustrated because i'm no longer going to fear film inside a dealership you know i think the brand is becoming weak I really do. I think it's lost its way. I think the bikes are great, but I don't know what demographic it's trying to tap into. I feel that I've only ever held Harley Davidson in the highest possible light. I've branded it to death. I've asked for nothing in return, but I just simply won't be dictated to by corporate what I can and can't upload. Now listen, I don't have to take my stuff off YouTube, but if I don't, there'll be ramifications for Geelong Harley Davidson. And I think that's pretty poor form, I really do. You know, goodbye motor vlog, goodbye Harley Davidson. Let the soft cocks put out their Harley Davidson stuff and um, keep it all nice. Don't swear, don't smoke cigarettes, don't do a line locky. You know, let's have some corporate guys riding Harley Davidsons and, um, and being all polite. It's not what I'm about. The culture of Harley Davidson is, I'm aware that it's strong and it's alive. You know, I think people should be able to have freedom of speech. And I think Harley Davidson corporate should grow some balls and tell the minority to fuck off and listen to the majority.